Hello and welcome to Tang News. The following are today's headlines. Tangyuan University of Agriculture and Forestry receives the title of Labor Hero. Provincial leaders meet with Vietnam Embassy delegation in Turkey. President Ho Chi Minh, a Vietnamese hero for the people. On May the 18th, Tanguyen University of Agriculture and Forestry held a solemn ceremony to receive the title of Labor Hero in the renovation period. The ceremony was attended by Mrs. Nguyen Thị Doan, Vice President of Vietnam, and Mr. Bùi Quang Vinh, Minister of Military Planning and Investment. Tanguyen University of Agriculture and Forestry is regarded as one of the key venues on agroforestry and high-level human resources training. Is also known for implementing research and science technology transfer to the northern, midland, and mountainous provinces in Vietnam, with great contribution to the rapid development of agricultural production and rural reform in Vietnam in general, and the northern, midland, and mountainous provinces in particular. The university is honored to receive many Nobel emulation titles. At the ceremony, authorized by the Vietnam president. Mr. Zhuan, Vice President, awarded the honorable title of Labor Hero to lecturers and students of Taiwan University of Agriculture and Forestry. This is great recognition by the party and state for the development of the university. To top it all, Mr. Zhuan awarded 25 scholarships to students with outstanding achievements in their different fields of study. On May the 22nd, the mission of Vietnam Embassy in Turkey, led by Ambassador Nguyễn Thế Cường, had a meeting with the leaders of Thái Nguyên Province. Mr. Dương Ngọc Long, chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, presided over the meeting. As an important country positioned in the Middle East and North Africa, in recent years, there has been a high increase in export and import turnover between the two countries. In particular, the export turnover of Vietnam to Turkey gained $688 million, and Vietnam import turnover from Turkey reached $75.5 million. At the meeting, the ambassador of Vietnam in Turkey hoped to boost cooperation in investment, trade, and education between Tangyuan Province and Turkey, especially in the field of tea products export to Turkish market. In addition, Ambassador Nguyễn Thế Cường also expressed the desire to organize twinning between Tangyuan Province and Kutaya Province of Turkey. On behalf of the Tangyuan Province, Mr. Lam suggested that Vietnam Embassy to Turkey introduce and advertise the potentials of Tangyuan tea products and the investment advantages of the province to Turkish business community to help reach Tangyuan businesses with Turkish market then eventually expand to several countries in the Middle East and North Africa. In the first quarter of the year 2013, while the export value of Tangyuan province grew more than 8.4% over the same period, the imports fell by almost 2%. During the month of April, the import and export activity reversed sharply. This is also the general trend of the country. According to statistics from the Department of Trade and Industry, the total local value of exports in April 2013 is estimated at $7.3 million, increasing 4% compared to the previous month, falling down nearly 25% over the same period last year. Meanwhile, the import value reached $25.5 million, rising 22% compared to the same period in the year 2012. Most notably, olivoti paper, medical instruments, and handheld tools increased sharply compared to the previous month and over the same period, though the import value of such goods as steel, recycled paper, garments, and accessories increased slightly. These figures illustrate initial recovery of the industrial sectors on textile and mechanical engineering. However, to solve the long-term deficit problem, Obviously, there's a need to develop supporting industry in the province. On March the 19th, 2013, Tangyuan Provincial Union, in collaboration with Vietnam Youth Union of Tangyuan Province, launched a campaign, the Philanthropic Festival for Community Health. 
With the topic joining Jiang Forces for Social Security, practical achievements were made in the festival in honor of Uncle Ho's 123rd birthday. The Cooking Class Celebration Month in 2013 held the people's health care activities. The youth was to assist society with community health implemented simultaneously in districts and towns by the union and associations. Apparently, 135 young doctors from Tainguyen Young Doctor Club examined the patients, offered professional advice on health, administered free drugs, and even gave presents to nearly 1,200 people belonging to the beneficiaries of social policies in remote and poor areas. The club, together with the Voluntary Blood Donation Steering Committee of districts, towns and hospitals, organized the blood donation activity really well. On this occasion, Tangyuan Province of Union and Province Steering Committee. On this occasion, Tangyuan Province of Union and Province Steering Committee of Blood Donation commended both individuals and teams for their outstanding achievements in this campaign. May the 19th, 2013, marked the 123rd commemoration of the birth of President Ho Chi Minh, Vietnamese hero of national liberation and great man of country. Ho Chi Minh devoted on his revolutionary life to the country, a great communist, an outstanding national hero, and a prominent international soldier to his fatherland and people. Ho Chi Minh was born into a family of patriotic scholars in Kim Lien, Nam Dan, Nghệ An, at a time when his country was immersed in the colonial domination of France, witnessing the tribulations of the people. At his early ages, President Ho Chi Minh manifested willingness to fight against colonialism, gaining independence for the country and happiness for the people. In 1911, he left the fatherland for the West, commencing his 30-year journey abroad to seek a way for national liberation. Facing innumerable difficulties, he had never stopped thinking about the country and the people. In Ho Chi Minh's legacy, the For the People ideology has always held an important and complete position in his heart. He said, in this world, there's nothing more valuable than the people, and no one is stronger than the people's unity force. Power of the people, when mobilized, organized, and unified under the leadership of the party, is the strongest force. Are all strength rests in the people. Without the people, things that are 100 times easier cannot be surpassed. With the people, things that are 100 times difficult can be realized. And that ideology has proven to be suitable with the development of Vietnam's revolution throughout every historical period. Tư tưởng Hồ Chí Minh thể hiện qua lời dạy đối với chúng tôi cũng như đối với học sinh các nhà trường là phải biết yêu tổ quốc. Ho Chi Minh's ideology is expressed through words that mandates a person to love his country and his people. That means the more you love your country the more you should respect the people. During his revolutionary life, President Ho Chi Minh led Vietnamese revolution through difficulties and hardship to victory. His idea of patriotism, loving and respecting people, devoting the whole life to the revolution, and people neglecting fame and wealth with a casual lifestyle has always been an extremely bright example to the entire party, people and army to follow and imitate. Every year on May the 19th, the anniversary of his birth, Vietnamese people, wherever they are, always remember President Ho Chi Minh, the beloved leader, the father of the nation. Young people, when offering fragrant incense to commemorate President Ho Chi Minh, have learned a valuable lesson about history, idea education, and responsibility to the party, the people, for their studies and training to contribute to have Vietnam compete with other nations following Ang Ho's design. That information comes to end the program today. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.